There is an anger among some of Donald Trump's most ardent supporters. Bring your ass over here. Bring your ass over here, mother. One of them making threats of physical violence against an anti-Trump counter-protester at a rally outside of Trump's Miami golf course. The Trump supporter confronts the man. Others join him, berating the protester with profane language and racist tropes. Get out! Get out of here! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! You not American! Get out of here! My grandfather died for that fight. Get the out of here! Police on motorcycles arrive quickly to defuse the situation. That way, that way, let's go. With the lone counter protester leaving. These are the kinds of moments authorities are worried about. Make no mistake about it, we're taking this, uh, this event extremely serious. We know that there is a potential of things uh, taking a turn for the worst, but that's not the Miami way. At the courthouse where the hearing will take place, the police presence is visible. Officials say they can handle a crowd of up to 50,000. We encourage people to be peaceful in, in them demonstrating uh, how, they're, how they feel. How Trump feels is no secret. He's furious as he lurches toward yet another historic and infamous first. I think this is going to be a, a really incredible moment in, in history. This former federal prosecutor says while the indictment is scathing, the outcome of this case is anything but certain. Selecting a jury will be complicated given Trump's polarizing nature and his wide base of support in Florida. All you need is one juror to say, well, you know what, I'm troubled by this, and then you'll get a mistrial. And Katie, some are also raising concerns about the judge in this case. Yeah, her name is Eileen Cannon, and there are two significant concerns that have been raised by people about whether it's appropriate she's overseeing this case. One, she was appointed by Donald Trump back in 2020, and two, recently she delivered a ruling in Trump's favor that actually paused the investigation into classified documents. That ruling was later overturned by a much higher court in a scathing decision, and it's leading to questions about whether it's appropriate that she is the person to oversee this situation. All right, Katie Simpson in Florida tonight. Thank you. Thanks.